Welcome to day 17 of the AKT 30 day challenge. Today we're going to look at PSA testing. Here we go. So the correct answer here is a patient who had had sexual intercourse with ejaculation um, four days ago. This would not cause a problem with the PSA test. So tricky thing here is the question is asked in a negatively framed way. It says which of the following would not lead to issues with accuracy in terms of having a PSA test? So um, the cutoff here is 48 hours. So someone who had had an ejaculation within the past 48 hours, they should delay their PSA. But in this example, it was four days ago, so that wouldn't cause a problem. All of the other examples here would be reasons why a PSA test would not be accurate, so they should be avoided. So the other key things to know in relation to the prostate cancer guidelines are when to think about doing PSA testing in the first place. So think about doing it if a patient presents with low urinary tract symptoms, so things like nocturia, frequency, hesitancy, urgency, urinary retention. Um, erectile dysfunction, visible hematuria, you know, think about doing a test. You'd also think about doing a digital rectal examination to assess whether or not they might have a malignant or craggy, you know, enlarged prostate. If you did find something that felt malignant on examination, then that would warrant a two-week wait referral. And the other indication to do a two-week wait referral for suspected prostate cancer would be if the PSA comes back and it's above the age-specific reference ranges for that patient. Now these have recently been updated in the latest set of NICE cancer guidelines. So it's worth knowing. So these are the latest age specific reference ranges. So I hope that's been helpful and do join me tomorrow for another episode of the 30 day challenge.